What I want you to get out of today's session is I would like for you to develop the skills to adapt your leadership style. And when I say leadership style, it doesn't mean that by title you have to be in a leadership position. Everybody is a leader in your own way, how you connect and communicate with others. So we're going to learn how to enhance your leadership style so that you can connect with a diverse group of individuals. You're going to learn how to identify your own personal conflict style and how you show up when you're in conflict with others. You're going to look at increasing your effectiveness in terms of how you communicate and reduce those negative behaviors when you're in a conflict with somebody. And then you're going to enhance your overall communication so that when you're working with teams that you'll be more effective and that you can also reduce conflict and come to some sort of resolution in a lot faster and more efficient manner. <laughs> Not quite that high. So when you're looking at how many errors are actually made in terms of mistakes, it's actually due to miscommunications. Same with flights. When they, there's a flight error and flight accident, it's actually 70% of those are due to miscommunications. So you can see that communications really is a very big deal at the end of the day. And it's very important to be able to effectively communicate and connect with others. As innovators and people who come up with really great ideas, when you're asked to share those ideas, sometimes the things that get in the way is yourself. And you also have to think about, I need to understand how is it that I'm supposed to overcome those barriers. Nonverbal communications, that's really what people are paying attention to, more so than the words that are actually coming out of your mouth. So I'm going to prove that to you right now. So everybody, you know how to make a circle with your hand? Everybody can see me, right? So I want you to take this circle and put it on your cheek. Oh. <laughs> you see? So exactly. There's more than half of you that were following me by putting it on your chin. So that means you're paying more attention to what I'm doing than what I'm actually saying. So systems thinking is really about understanding the impact of those interrelationships. So everything that you're working on, any idea that you have, any project or initiative that you want to move forward, you got to think about how is this going to impact other departments? Who do I need to involve? Who should I be talking to? Who else might be impacted by this? So that your decisions and your planning aren't made in isolation, but are rather with other departments so that that way you have a collaborative approach. If there's no communication, then there really is no leadership at the end of the day. The reality is leadership is really built off of your communication style. So Coos and Posner's talks about credibility as a leader and for you to be seen as a leader that's very, it has a lot of integrity, who is very charismatic, that people are naturally gravitate to, you need to learn how to communicate effectively. So while that may work for in some situations, it can also upset some people, especially if you're going to be working with them on a consistent basis. And if you're going to go buy a car or something like that, you don't care about the relationship, then by all means, go in, I win, you lose to get that lowest price. But if you're working with that individual on an ongoing basis, you may want to revisit if that's the best strategy for you. Well, how can I overcome that? How do I look past my friends and my team members or the organization as they are pushing and resisting against this idea that I fundamentally believe is a fantastic idea that can help the organization. Well, this is where you got to start explaining the need. Why do we need to do this? What's happening right now that's forcing us that we need to change the way that we're thinking? You'll need to be to provide them with information so that they can understand the bigger context, the broader picture as to where we're at and why this is happening. We also need to consult with people because you can't do this in isolation. You can't just run all by yourself. You got to collaborate and have them working with you as a team. How you operate, what you say and what you do, that also leads to your credibility as an individual and whether or not people will trust you as a leader. So what comes out of your mouth and if you stay consistent to that, that's where people start to believe in you. So that's really where the communication lies as it relates to those three areas. 
You also have to know that those ideas, the small ideas, even as small as you might think that they are, can actually be life-saving ideas. They're the ones that can change the way that you do your business and operate with others. So as you leave here today, I want you to take one of those candies or mints that are a lifesaver and know that your ideas can come in different sizes, different colors, different flavors, different means, and they can still take the organization to another level. I'm gonna take yours, I'll throw these out. You're welcome. Thank you very much for coming. It's all good. Thank you. Thank you. Did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Good. Glad you liked it. Bye, oh, I'm going to give you a hug. Oh, great. <laughs>